Welcome to UK Explored. In this video, we're taking a look around one of the most deprived and economically challenged areas in the whole of the UK, Tipton. Eerily known as the lost city by the locals due to how the residents feel so isolated and the fact that it's struggling so much, Tipton is an industrial town in the metropolitan borough of Sandwell in the West Midlands. Tipton started out as a collection of small hamlets in the 18th century when coal and ironstone was discovered in the area. Like a lot of the black country, expansion of the coal and iron industries led to the population of Tipton expanding rapidly throughout the 19th century. But as industry has slowed to almost a complete halt, the population has continued to grow. Today, Tipton has a population of around 47,000. It has higher than average unemployment, an above average crime rate and in particular the number of families who live in poverty is way above average. As you'll see from our footage there is a large proportion of flats in Tipton and I hate to say it but a lot are clearly run down and in need of refurbishment. In fact I've never been to an area comprising of so many blocks of flats. There's also a lot of housing above shops, we saw HMOs, and they're some of the most densely populated estates I've ever seen. To give you an idea of how deprived Tipton is, the deprivation report published by Sandwell Council states that 50% of areas in Tipton are in the top 10% of the most deprived areas in the whole of England. Furthermore, 85% are in the 30% of the most deprived. And the whole of Tipton is in the 70% most deprived areas in the UK. And that's just plain shocking. That kind of deprivation doesn't happen overnight. I can see why locals call Tipton the lost city. That's some serious neglect from local authorities and the government over decades. Unfortunately, poverty and crime goes hand in hand to a certain extent. But that said, being a small town, Tipton doesn't have the worst crime rate. Tipton has a crime rate of 111 reported crimes per 1,000 residents which is lower than the likes of Dudley and Wolverhampton and most of the other large towns and cities we've covered on this channel. But it's still way above the national average of 75. While looking at news headlines before heading out to Tipton, I found one particular story interesting. One of the largest cannabis grows busted in Tipton, valued at around 300,000 happened in May of this year. This is the building that the, shall we say, entrepreneurs used to set up their grow. It's an old territorial army building that was derelict, but it's on one of the main roads running from Tipton, so it doesn't seem like the brightest idea to me. But what do I know? I don't know how they were busted exactly, but I'm guessing someone local saw something suspicious or possibly just smelt the weed. As you can see, there is now a huge blue portable cabin dumped in front of the doors to deter entry, but the building has been smashed up even more by some kids by the look of it, and pigeons rule the place now. Other headlines that caught my eye were Loads of news reports of assaults, mostly revolving around teenagers and some gang activity. There are plenty of county lines busts too going through Tipton, which is when drugs are being transported from one area to another, usually by exploiting vulnerable people. And there are firearms busts and shootings that happen in Tipton, which is something that seems to plague the West Midlands in general. So overall, there are some serious crimes happening in Tipton, but it's not fair to label Tipton as a dangerous town based on the crime rate in my opinion. Something positive that Tipton may now be famous for could be having the wonkiest pub in the country. The Crooked House in Himley was the most famous slanting pub, but that burned down recently in somewhat suspicious circumstances. I've been doing some research and I think the Tilted Barrel in Tipton now takes that title. The Tilted Barrel Inn was built back in 1820, it subsided sometime after it was built but obviously it's stable enough to be used and it even has a grade 2 listed building status. Honestly, on the day when we filmed the Tilted Barrel, I assumed it was an old pub that had closed down but was interesting enough to film. As you can see, some of the signage has fallen off, it has broken windows, plants growing out of the brickwork and the back of the pub is boarded up and it looks like it's been used as a dumping ground. But checking their Facebook page and Google, the pub is very much open. So I would love to hear from anyone that's been in there what it's like. The decline of the town centre or shopping centre is something that's affected most of the UK in recent years. It's largely due to the increase in online shopping and the cost of living, reducing spend, and it always hits deprived areas like Tipton the hardest. 
As you can see here, the shopping center in Tipton is pretty depressing. It looks like around half the shops are closed down or boarded up. There isn't much in the way of well-known brands and it was a bit of a ghost town for a midday in the summer holidays. I understand these flats above this row of shops are in line to be renovated, but it's not a great look being boarded up like this and who knows how long it'd be like this for. Quite a few of you, the viewers, recommended that we check out St Mark's Road when we're in Tipton as it's one of the most deprived areas. The shopping centre here is also pretty depressing and we did see people drinking Strongbow and smoking weed openly in the streets around midday. The estates off of St Mark's Road comprised of more flats, much like most of Tipton. I chose not to film interactions with people but I did speak to a few people while walking around the estates and they were super nice and friendly. You know who you are if you're watching, so hi. I'm not too sure if some of the community buildings were closed down or just look boarded up because they're so fortified. And this bungalow has to be well known locally, right? I have no idea why he has all of these signs on the side of it like this. I did talk to one of his neighbors who was out on his porch and he said that sometimes people actually turn up at his place thinking it's a Chinese takeaway or a bike repair shop. And I mean, who would want that happening, right? There has to be more of a story here, so maybe if any of the viewers know anything more about this, I'd love to hear it. I'm sure the Ocker Hill store does a good service to the residents of the area, but wow, it makes you feel like you've taken a step back in time. The proper term for what's happened and continues to happen in Tipton and an increasing number of towns and cities across the UK is urban decay. Urban decay happens when the previously functioning or flourishing area falls into disrepair and disuse. There could be a number of reasons for this happening, but in the case of Tipton, the coal and ironworks industries drying up was certainly the catalyst for this. Decades of neglect have followed, and what you see today are endless rows of rundown housing. Derelict buildings. Litter and fly tipping becomes overwhelming. businesses struggle, poverty and crime worsens, the council falls behind, and it's just a downward spiral. I wonder what would be discussed if the Conservatives Club was still open today, eh? I enjoyed exploring Tipton for the day, it was a real eye opener for me. This channel isn't about kicking areas like these across the UK when they're down. I'd love to see things turn around. Without being negative, I don't see how it's possible though with the way things are going in the UK right now, but I am going to stay hopeful. As always, all comments are welcome, and please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have loads more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.